Namaste. So we have come quite a ways in our analysis of the Brahma Sutra, uh, fourth Adhikarana. And some of these discoveries and insights have just been frankly astounding. And the most recent one, I think, is the one that sticks with me uh, the most, that just like Brahman is uncaused, so also realization of Brahman is uncaused. How can that be? Because that realization already exists. Ramana Maharshi says, how do you know that you know? Or how are you conscious that you're conscious? Well, that's Turiya. So Turiya is already active. So Brahman is already realized. You just have to recognize it. And a recognition of something that already exists is not a cause that brings it into existence. It is simply acknowledging what is so, what already is. Aham brahmasmi tattvamasi. So, you see, this is a corollary to the other astonishing fact that Brahman never becomes an object. And it never becomes an object because it's uncaused. <laughs> it's never an object. And also because it never becomes the object even of a process of awareness. Except its own self-awareness. So you can't know Brahman. Uh, like Yajna Valkya says in Brihadaranyakopanishad, how can one know that by which all is known? How can one know the knower? Well, you can't. That's why Ramana Maharshi says you can't see Brahman. You can only be Brahman. And as soon as you accept that, you're enlightened. That's it, you know. Now, you could explain this whole thing to a Zen monk, especially a Chinese uh, Chan monk, or even a Taoist. And they would say, oh, yeah, well, you don't need so many words to understand that. It's just emptiness and no self and non-doing, right? That's it. But you see, those catchphrases, those uh, keywords or jargon or whatever you want to call it, has become loaded down with conceptual baggage. And so when we hear it, we don't really hear it. When somebody says no self, meaning no ego, no empirical self, what is left unsaid is the real self or emptiness, shunyata, which is, of course, sushupti consciousness. You see, all these things <laughs> fit together. They all relate at a very high level. And uh, it's sometimes frustrating for me that the viewers don't really seem to get it, a lot of them. And I get a lot of comments that indicate people are confused, probably about the terminology. Uh, but since they don't leave good comments, it's hard to tell. But anyway... So I'm going to leave this series with you, such as it is. Um, I'm taking a few days off. Or actually, I'm taking a few weeks off. <laughs> this whole next week, 
I'm going to be uh, traveling and this and that. And uh, <clears throat> then for a few days, I'll be back. I can't say how much of that I'm going to be online um, because then I'm going traveling again in the beginning of May and so on and so forth. So I won't really be uh, back and settled until, you know, almost mid-May. That's about a month, three weeks or a month, yeah. So um, I'm going to leave the series just such as it is. Hope that some people come along that actually appreciate the some of the astounding insights that Shankaracharya has given us. And um, maybe we'll come back to it or maybe we'll do something else. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's a surprise even to me. Uh, so I'm led by my inspiration, by my inner voice, uh, my inner knowingness. And uh, also, I have to admit, by the things that happen around me. And right now, what's happening is pretty amazing because Venus is in Pisces, and Venus is exalted in Pisces. <clears throat> and the recent solar eclipse was right on my Lugna, only two degrees away, certainly within orb of my Lugna. So, you know, I'm getting like supercharged with all kinds of goddess energy. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to have to explain it. Uh, because it's an ongoing thing, and I want to be completely open to the experience. So if you've followed our videos in the past in a detailed way, you'll understand. Anyway, um, I will be offline. I will be checking messages occasionally, but, you know, not frequently, not more than once a day, probably. Um, so if there's anything important, you can contact me in the usual ways. Otherwise, I will see you in, you know, uh, three weeks or so. <laughs> Om Tat Sat. Om Shakti Om. Om Namah Shivaya. <laughs>